you probably know what you should be doing already. But if you don't know, you are in the right place. So usually we get in this state of being indecisive and not knowing where to go next, of not knowing what to do next. But at the end of the day, deep down, deep inside, we know what we should be doing. We know where we should be going. We know the next steps. But many times what we have is that we're afraid of taking those steps, even though we know what we should be doing, even though you know that your most likely outcome, if you do the thing that you should be doing, that you know that you should be doing, if you call that client, you know you should call. If you talk to that person, you know you should talk to. If you put in the work, you know you should put. If you stop eating that candy that you're addicted to, if you stop drinking, if you start exercising, you already know the things you should do. Most likely than than not. But sometimes we either are afraid of doing it, we procrastinate on doing it, and not so much. Something that happens less often is that we don't really know what we should be doing. So I have this very easy to understand diagram over here that will help you do whatever you should be doing. So here we have, I don't know what to do or I know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, you need to get to this point here, knowing what to do. How do you get to this point? Figure it out. If you know what to do, just do it. Stop procrastinating, do the damn thing, get over it. And it will free up so much more mental bandwidth after you get over it that your life will be much easier and other things that now seem hard because you don't have the bandwidth because you're constantly thinking of the thing you should be doing. You're always, I need to do this, I need to do this, I did, I can't forget this, blah, 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 blah. Do it and everything else will be easier. But what about the figure out part? The figure out part is probably where most people get stuck and probably where you've already gotten stuck in your life a few times. And how do you go about figuring things out? Well, you know, the thing is, those answers, many times, they are a bit elusive. They don't want to come to you when you're looking for them. It's like if you're playing hide and seek with a child, with a small child, and they're trying to hide from you and they're laughing because you're looking for them. And, and the more you look for them, the less they'll have the incentive to get out of their hiding place and appear. But if you stop looking, if you give up on that intent and you do something else, the idea, the spark of what you should be doing might come to you. It's like when you go on a drive and you're not really thinking about the thing anymore and suddenly the idea pops in your mind or you take a shower or you go for a long walk or you go to the gym or you go do some handiwork some craftsmanship kind of thing that you like to do or cooking or playing an instrument and after you go and do that thing that puts you in a focus state and a flow state the ideas will start coming. They will start popping. That's the big thing with our state of affairs currently is that we never let ourselves be bored. And boredom is actually a superpower because boredom is the state in which those ideas that pop from our subconscious, they need to have not only the time, but you need to give them the permission. You need to not have your brain consciously looking at something, consciously thinking of something so that those ideas can pop off. And then you'll have those sparks, those inspirations suddenly, and you'll be like, oh my God, how, how did this come to my mind suddenly? And it, it's not that it's suddenly, it's that you usually don't give yourself that time to meditate, that time to just be present, be calm, just get a coffee, 
and enjoy it slowly. Just being present in the moment, relaxing. Take that little time to enjoy. Go on a walk in nature. Listen to the birds. Feel the wind. Feel the sun. Look at the trees. If you do those kinds of things on a regular basis, it will be much easier for you to know what you should be doing because you will feel it naturally. If you're living in a state of flow, you will naturally be inclined to do the things that you actually should be doing. And then we go back to our board. Figure it out and you'll come here to I know what to do. And once you know what to do, then we need to get to the stage of doing it. And we often procrastinate with the things that we know that we should be doing because in a way we are afraid of growing. We are afraid of getting to the next level because we are used to the comfort zone. So our comfort zone by definition is something that you're comfortable with, something that you already know. You know that phrase that I, the devil I know is better than the devil I don't know. It has to do with this. It has to do with being used to something, even if it's not good, if, even if it's not a situation that you enjoy, even if it's a job you hate, it's a partner that doesn't fit your purpose. It's, it might be an abusive relationship, for instance. You know, there's a thing called Stockholm Syndrome when people, they like people who are abusive just because they get to know them and then they make something up in, in their minds that they like them because they have to justify to themselves why they let them be controlled by that other person or why they let that other person treat them a certain way. So they justify this to themselves by saying, no, but I love them. I like them or whatever it is, even if it's an abusive relationship. So you need to get deep into that so that you start doing those justifications because to grow, you need to make decisions, make decisions that lead you to the path of growth, that lead you to where you want to go. And to go where you want to go, you need to take a path that you have never taken. Or you need to take more steps on the path that you've started taking already, but that you didn't go through until the end, until you get that result that you want. And that result might be a better fitness so you want to look good in your swimsuit or it might be something to do with your job it might be something to do with having better relationships with your family with your friends have more confidence all of that it takes a little bit of work but the most important it takes believing that you can do it and it takes being willing to do the things that you need to do to get there so Please, by all means, do the thing that you need to do because that's as easy as it gets. If you do the thing that you know you should be doing or if you don't know what you should be doing, you go and figure out what you should be doing and start doing that, you will grow exponentially. Exponentially. You will unleash that rock star. You will be able to play in whatever band you want with whatever group the most awesome superstars and it's that easy choosing to do what you need to do please like subscribe and share with your friends that need to hear this message here at the rock and roll to success we are always doing what we need to do so, so that more people can get on the bandwagon more people can grow more people can unleash their inner rock star our goal over here is to get to 1,200,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I'm sure that we will. So thank you for watching. Let's go.